So the first step, as I said, for this data, after you extract the data from Yahoo Finance, which data have we taken? We have taken data of Nifty 50 and Infosys, five years, monthly frequency. First step, as I said, never ever work with prices. Always convert your prices to returns. So subse pehle, I will plot my returns here which is the next day minus the previous day divided by the previous day. And this I have to do for all. So I will just double click. So ye sare returns a jayenge aapko. Similarly, I will do this for, now this I did for Infi. I have to do this for Nifty also. I don't need to do it again. Say copy paste karoge na, to bhi wo formula apne aap copy paste ho jata hai. Yahan pe agar aap dekhoge, it's got tracked automatically. Okay. So the first step is to calculate the mean return. Mean statistically, we have find out karenge and using Excel, we have find out karenge. So if you take the statistical measure for mean, it is sum of all the returns divided by number of observations. Number ke liye you can use the count function divided by count of all the returns. So you will get mean of 2.28% for Infosys. Aya sab ko ye? Sum by count. It should be 2.28% return. Yes or no? So just take a summation of all the returns and divide it by the number of observations. You'll get 2.28%. Same way we can compute for Nifty also. Nifty ka 1.41%. What does it tell you? It tells you that although Nifty, which is the market index, has given 1.41% monthly return over the last five years, Infosys has given 2.28% monthly return over the last five years, which is almost 50% higher than what the market has given you. We are no on an average. Now I can also validate this using the Excel function. So I will just do is equal to average and take an average of all the returns. You will see you get the same numbers here. Here Same. 2.28, 1.41. Here I have taken the average function. So what we are trying to do, we are trying to compute by Excel also, statistically also, both. right? And ideally the number should match. Next step is to find out the variance. As I mentioned to you, formula for variance is if I take a sample, sum of square deviations around the mean by n minus 1. So, first of all, we have to find out karna padega deviations and then square deviations. So, deviations is simple. Xi minus X bar. So, every return observation minus the mean observation. Okay. Every return observation minus the mean observation. Now, isko main drag nahi kar sakta because mean observation is a static reference. So, usko main F4 karke freeze karunga. F4. If you go to the formula and press F4, wo dollar dollar sign a jayega. Dollar dollar karoge to wo freeze ho gaya wo sign. Now, you can drag it. So, I will simply drag this down. I get my deviations from the mean. Last wala dekho ke na, to aapko pata chalega ke bara bara aya ke nahi aya. Ye dekho. Bara bara aya na? So now we take the square deviations, which is nothing but deviations to the power of two. I'm recording this session. Don't worry. You will get it for reference. Abhi aap dhyan do. 
So deviations to the power of two will be square deviations. Now, once you get the square deviations, you can get the variance very easily. What is the formula for variance? Sum of square deviations divided by n minus one. So n can account minus one. So you have your variance. So what I have done, I have taken the square deviations from this column and used it to compute my variance. Is it clear? Yes or no? Now I can obtain the sum of square deviations by n minus 1. I can obtain the variance using the var dot s function also. So is equal to var dot s variance for a sample. Now, kya lunga mein yaha pe? Returns lunga. Returns lunga. Ye dekho same, same number. var dot s. Please look at the screen. Same number using statistics. Same number using Excel function. Is it clear? The same thing we will repeat for Nifty also. We will get the deviations and the standard deviations. Sorry, deviations and the square deviations. Okay, so how do I get the deviations? Again, x, y, i minus, in this case, nifty x, always nifty x. Hota hai. Market is x and stock is y. So nifty is x, so x, i minus x bar, x, i minus x bar, this is your deviation. And stock in this case, it will be y, i minus y bar. But I'm just saying nomenclature. Formula, I'm just saying that. Here it will be, again, Freeze the cell and drag it down. So, you will deviations here captured. Ho Is it clear? But it has to be in percentage. Now, you can get the square deviations, which is deviation to the power of 2. Drag it down. Now, you can, again, you will use this data here. You will use this data here to get to the variance figure. So variance will be sum of square deviations around the mean divided by n minus 1. So count of these deviations minus 1. Again, we can use this using the, we can arrive at this using the var dot s function. So var dot s variance using the nifty returns. Same value. Same value using statistics. Same value using Excel. Please check. For Infosys also, we got the same values using statistics and Excel. For Nifty also, we got the same values using statistics and Excel. Now, how do you convert variance to standard deviation? Just take a square root. Statistically, how do you convert variance to standard deviation? You will take a square root of the variance. So, is equal to SQRT of the variance. You will get the standard deviation and we will do the same thing for nifty also is equal to sqrt of the variance now dekho kya aata hai aapko idhar you are seeing ki nifty ka standard deviation kya hai monthly 5.32 percent lekin infosys ka 8.07 percent standard deviation is a measure of volatility risk Iska matlab, if Infosys as such is a very highly volatile stock. 
एट परसेंट के ऊपर का मंथली डिविएशन इज लॉट्स डिविएशन अराउंड द मीन तो मतलब फ्लक्चुएशन इन्फोसिस में वॉलेटाइलिटी कंपेयर टू द मार्केट डेढ़ गुना है ऑलमोस्ट आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो दिस इज यूज दिस इज गेटिंग टू स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन यूजिंग स्टैटिस्टिकल फंक्शन यू कैन ऑल्सो अराइव एट स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन यूजिंग एक्सेल विच फंक्शन एस टी डी ई डॉट एस सो आई एम गोइंग टू डू दैट नाउ इज इक्वल टू एस टी डी ई डॉट एस फॉर द इन्फोसिस रिटर्न फर्स्ट ये देखो सेम वैल्यू एट पॉइंट जीरो सेवन परसेंट सेम वे फॉर निफ्टी is equal to stdev dot s same value five point three two percent ये देख लीजिए आपके सामने है again standard deviation also statistically and using excel function is the same both for infosys and nifty clear now next step is to calculate the covariance how do you calculate the covariance what is the formula for covariance sigma xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar by n minus 1 matlab humko kya lena hai we have to take the multiple of the deviations around the mean xi minus x bar matlab nifty ka deviations yi minus y bar matlab इनफी का डिविएशन इन दोनों को मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे और नीचे ट्रैक करेंगे सो दिस इज ऑल द डिविएशन मल्टीपल ऑफ ऑल डिविएशन कौन सा डिविएशन ये देखो इधर स्क्रीन पे निफ्टी का डिविएशन एंड इन्फोसिस के डिविएशन को मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे हम को वेरायंस को वेरायंस हाउ दे बिहेव इन रिलेशन टू इच अदर सो एक्स आई माइनस एक्स बार इन टू वाई आई माइनस वाई बार इसको हमने मल्टीप्लाई किया एंड नाउ समेशन ऑफ दिस इज इक्वल टू सम ओके सम डिवाइड बाय एन माइनस वन सो अगेन काउंट माइनस वन कितना आया कोविडाइंस Point zero zero two two nine. Now, ideally, when I am doing covariance dot s, so this result should come. So, is equal to covariance dot s. Now, what is it asking me? Array one and array two. So, array one may we can take the infi returns. Please take returns. Don't take deviations. And array two may I can take the nifty returns. Same value. अगेन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टू टू नाइन यहां पर भी हमने यह स्थापित किया कि वट डिड वी एस्टैब्लिश दैट द को वेरायंस यूजिंग स्टैटिस्टिकल फॉर्मूला एंड यूजिंग एक्सेल फंक्शन गिव यू द सेम रिजल्ट इज इट क्लियर नाउ वी गेट टू को रिलेशन वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर को रिलेशन इज इक्वल टू को वेरायंस डिवाइडेड बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द Standard deviations, covariance divided by product of the standard deviations. So what did I get as the correlation? Point five three two. Its का मतलब, please pay attention. See, correlation is a positive value here. It's a positive value. It means that Infosys stock is positively correlated to Nifty market. अगर market ऊपर जाता है तो substantially Infosys भी ऊपर जाता है मार्केट क्रैश करता है तो इंफोसिस भी क्रैश करता है अ पॉजिटिव कोरिलेशन नॉट अ हंड्रेड परसेंट पॉजिटिव कोरिलेशन बट स्टिल अ पॉजिटिवली पॉजिटिवली कोरिलेटेड स्टॉक फिफ्टी परसेंट तो है नाउ यू कैन आल्सो वैलिडेट कोरिलेशन यूजिंग द कोरल फंक्शन इज इक्वल टू कोरल एंड अगेन अरे वन में यू कैन टेक द इन्फी रिटर्न and array 2 may please take the nifty returns ye dekho same value 
स्कोरर फंक्शन से भी मेरे को वही वैल्यू आई पॉइंट फाइव थ्री टू सिक्स फाइव सो को रिलेशन आई हैव एस्टैब्लिश यूजिंग द स्टेटिस्टिकल मेथड एज वेल एज यूजिंग द एक्सेल फंक्शन मेथड नाउ हाउ डू वी नो कि हम कैन वी आल्सो ग्राफिकली डिस्प्ले कि ये जो वॉलेटाइलिटी की हम बात कर रहे हैं बिटवीन निफ्टी एंड इनफी can you actually see the volatility in the graph you can so what we will do is i will also create a graph now for you in front of you actually so aap kya karo na ek graph mein kai bar wo it looks slightly distorted so what we will do is we will create a graph where two separate graphs actually then maybe you will be able to see better so main kya karunga i will take the returns of infosys hum price volatility bhi bhi kar sakte hain to agar main price volatility leta hu insert recommended charts take this this is always better so returns mein you will get a better view so insert recommended charts we can take the line chart ye dekho now this is the chart for infi you can see that it is volatile right now if i want to add the nift nifty data also here इस चार्ट को मैं रीनेम करूंगा इसको मैं इनफी बोलूंगा एंड नाउ आई विल ऐड अनदर वैल्यू विच इज विच आई विल बी कॉलिंग अनदर सीरीज कॉलिंग एज निफ्टी एंड निफ्टी के लिए आई कैन टेक दीज रिटर्न हियर एंड ओके नाउ यू सी यू आर गेटिंग टू चार्ट कंबाइंड कैन यू सी दैट ये देखो इधर अब अब आपको क्लियर होगा How volatility is exhibited? Now you tell me. I'll also insert a legend here. ये देखो. Infi, you can see the legend. Can you see the legend? Infi is the blue line, and Nifty is the orange line. Which is more volatile? Clearly, you can see that Infosys का जो highs और lows है. Look at the highs and lows. Infosys के जो highs and lows हैं, they are much much sharper than Nifty. That means what we have seen now is that the Infosys as a stock is much more volatile. It has shown rather much more volatility over last five years as compared to your market index, which is Nifty. So just a quick recap: we did what mean. using uh, mean and then variance standard deviation covariance correlation both using statistical formula as well as excel functions and then we also displayed the volatility on the graph is it clear good thank you